Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. This show is um, real estate, home improvement, investment, how to build wealth, all those things we cover here in the real estate show. There's uh, people looking for alternative ways to invest and uh, find ways to buy a house and rent it out or buy a house and create some income out of that. We've asked a few experts on the subject of, of, uh, of uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, they're Airbnbs. We're Airbnb. Really, we're really not supposed to call them. It's like calling a... Uh, you know, we say Kleenex, but it's really yeah. a facial Airbnb tissue. Airbnb is a company, and that's yeah. not you guys. And and, and it, it's an important part of this whole thing, but it also is Airbnb and Verbo, yeah. and the, we call them short-term rentals. But you guys are experts we on are, this, and we've asked we've, you to come in to tell our viewers how to do it, how to get involved. By the, by the way, they can call you, right? They can call us at any time, because really... We started buying these for ourselves, and they became so successful that, of course, people want to know, you know, how do you do how it? How do you do it, yeah. And so this is really a large part of what we do is field calls, you know, during, you know, all day long. So let's, about just, let's get this straight. We're going to call them short-term rentals. We're gonna, STRs, yeah. short-term rentals. And some people rentals. do it through Airbnb or these different things, yeah. vacation uh, rental verbo or something, but uh, just short-term rentals. And we, we use a management company, which is a really good com- important part of the team so that we're not personally running around making every single bed to keep it all going that's one of the questions i have yeah if you have now the, I, we're in the tower district of fresno right now but you, you can do them all over the state see you could do them all over the world and a lot of us have stayed in airbnbs you know on right. when you're traveling yeah. here in the tower district there are some of these and uh, i always wonder does the owner run over there and clean up and make the bed? sometimes the owner does yeah, yeah. when i go a, in one of these places when i rent one it's spotless in yeah. there right. and, and that's one of the biggest benefits um, as opposed to a long-term rental mm-hmm. you know most of the time you hear about a tenant who ruined the carpet and you had to repaint the entire house and long-term you know all rental. of the and they uh, don't find out about it sometimes until you know it's you know, been going three, on and on years or... and this is the thing I'm, and i'm sure this is something that you know anybody who knows about investing that you're always taught that if you buy a, a rental and it can make you one dollar more a month than all of your expenses then that's a good investment right like yeah. that that's always been the classic model yeah. and that still totally holds true I mean that that's an investment but we've realized that you can make thousands and thousands of dollars more every month doing it this up. way so why not right. right also with the long-term rental if it's vacant you're making nothing Exactly. Right. Uh, one of these short-term rentals, if you know, got a one person, the next week another, and next week another, and then it's empty for kind a week. Pieces yeah. together, you don't have zero. And we well, look at, I mean, when we are are looking at buying an investment property for Airbnb or short-term rental, we're looking at here's what our overhead is. How many days at the lowest possible day rate can do we need? Can we just break right. even? And so, then- and some of them are ten, and some of them are twelve days, but. Mm-hmm. We can look at that and go. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get, you know, 12 nights. Yeah. Out One of, of ours is empty this weekend, so we're letting some friends get married there. They're having their whole <laughs> wedding. It's they're planning it. They're right. setting up right now to get married, at, and, and we're just letting them do it because it's great goodwill. It's a great way to help when we have. Um, some flooding going on in our, our town right now. It's mm-hmm. a great way if we've got an empty, we've got one of them that's empty, so we're letting people come in and you know use it to take showers. So sure. it's great to be able to give back with this asset in addition to it making us money. I want to get back to the management. So if somebody gets into this business, they're not in vacuuming and cleaning. You get a management company, right. and maybe you don't even have to go look at it for months or years. Right, and we've worked really hard to... Um, you know, have some kind of guidelines with our reset crew on um, if you see something, say something. If we're out of this or if somebody punched a hole in the wall, we we all kind of know what's going on between the management company and yeah. us without having to be there. But right. a good management company does not need to include you right. almost almost yeah. never except when you see it, an automatic deposit go into your account. Now, I know a lot of people call you and say, how do you do it? I want to get into it. And stuff. You, you don't mind the calls. Oh. This is, I mean, it's just crazy that this is a whole way of doing, I've been doing real estate for 23 years. Mm -hmm. This is this whole new frontier of how to sell homes and help people make money with real estate that just didn't even seem to exist before. But people are so excited about it now. But if somebody sees it and calls you, can you help them? I mean, you're realtors. You can help them find the right property. That's that's what has been so exciting because 
we really want to like hold people's hand every step of the way. Right. Like finding a property, running the numbers so that they feel really confident about. Like you right. said, is it 12 days? Is it six days? If it's 29 days, it it's, might not be yeah, a good right. deal. Yeah. So, but right. you can help them with all that. 100%. Yeah, and I feel like kind of by default, we're always on the lookout for... Uh, we can't help ourselves. Yeah, we see... Once you you're know, in that business. Yeah, we see a property is, that's got, you know, some some river running behind it or, you know, something with just a great outdoor space yeah. or something that's unique in a certain way. And we're like, oh, this would be a great short-term rental. Yeah, so, short -term rental, yeah. yeah. And we want people to feel like when they step into ours, it's like a, a luxury hotel. Mm -hmm. We want the bedding to be perfect. Every single amenity. Hate to put you on the spot, but I want to pop some of yours up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't that one so cute? It is. Yeah, and I love this, too, because, you know, normally you're not going to put a green velvet, you know, uh, chair and couch in your in your space but with you know with this it's um kind of gives us it's like a liberty. license to yeah. just have fun look at our coffee bars when people yeah. come they want we want them to be able to have uh, an espresso drip keurig press i mean everything that they could possibly need to just go ooh. Yeah. This place is nice and yeah. does this help i mean i want to stay there just looking at it yeah. isn't that so fun so that's that's the geodesic dome uh -huh. just call it the dome and um, People just love it. Do you own it. this place? We yeah. do. Oh my goodness! Yeah, no, we own. We own this. This the place. same thing. Same yeah, place? this is. A, but it's a. You know, people get in there and they're like, "What the mm -hmm. heck yeah. is this thing?" What's that on the ground there? That's snow on the oh ground. Oh my goodness! That's so that, snow. that's up in Shaver Lake. That's yeah. that's the yeah. one we have. Up a there. lot of us from here don't see snow in most of our lives, so but it's pretty you, exciting. If you go to Shaver Lake right now, you're going to see. Is this Shaver? This is in Shaver, and you know, again, when we're looking at these, I love all the random shapes that are mm -hmm. in that uh, in that space and the big windows it's just it's unique it's not just a, a cabin in the woods it's got some character that makes people want to go right right and we want every single person that goes we want to make sure that they want to come back again yeah them and they want to tell their friends that they found the coolest one and we want every pot and pan that they could possibly need right to cook any meal that they could want to cook. We have a welcome basket that's stuffed with when they get there. every snack, yeah, yeah. and their name is on a board saying, you know, welcome. Nice. I love party. walking into a short-term rental, and it's just like blown away. Yeah, and that's what we want. But I've never really been in one where there's stuff waiting for a coffee bar and stuff. Oh, we right. want, and we put, like in Springville, there's still no ability to get anything delivered to you. Yeah. So in our freezers, we always have um, frozen cookie dough, frozen pizzas, and milk in the There's fridge. There's no DoorDash up there? There's <laughs> still not any. <laughs> not yet. We, we live there, so we'll run something over to yeah, you if you need it. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I had to come on the show so we can, our viewers can know that this is a possibility. Right. And it's a possibility to make money because that's what investors are yeah. investing for. Right. But, but there's a lot to maneuver through if you've never done it. You guys did it. You w did the learning. And we, were, we were nervous the first time because, yeah. you know, it's taking a big leap. But now that you've learned you could, it, you could help the next person come in. It's a repeatable in. action that, and it could be, that we've done. I mean, it could be as simple as, um, let's say you want to move. Mm -hmm. You are you need a fourth bedroom or something. Um, I mean, you could just keep your old house and Airbnb that. Right. You can pull a little bit of money out with a HELOC or a cash out refi and... Keep that, even keep your old furniture in there, mm -hmm. just make it nice, and then you get to buy a new house and put new furniture in that. And nice. now you have this money maker that's that's you've already invested in yourself Absolutely. and now you can use that. And this is the question I think that people ask us more than any other. They'll be like, Well, my house is just a house in a neighborhood. Why would somebody why would I make this into a, a short term rental? And that's the thing, because we think of it as a short-term rental is just where you go, you know, for a vacation. Mm -hmm. But people use them for they're going for a wedding, for instead a of a hotel funeral. Yes, yeah. anything yeah. that you would use a hotel for. But maybe you have, you know, a couple of families or, yeah. you know, two or three people. It's a hotel with two bathrooms and a kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's cheaper than renting a hotel. Absolutely. Right? And way more fun. Yeah. That's the, and we want people to have fun. We want it to be very. Um, you know, user friendly and has every creature comfort, but we want you to walk in and have a license to play foosball, play right. ping pong. Yeah, and I mean, of course, the upfront costs um, are, are very there and very relevant. I mean, you've got to furnish it, you need silverware, pots, pans, plates, mm -hmm. and sheets, and all that, but that's a one time setup, and you get it 
Um, and we have hunted around. We have all the links, so we know exactly where to get the yeah. best bedding that for the best price and what yeah. you can go cheap on and what you really need to right. spend the money on. Some stuff you need to go really nice. Yeah. And a lot of people will use them like like two or three guys would be working on a you know, solar field contract. Mm -hmm. They pull their money with their the money that they're they're stipend for housing. Yeah. And it's put perfect. Put it together and they have a house instead yeah. of a and they love it. And they'll stay in them for two, three, four months at a yeah, time. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. So I go to San Francisco or go down to San Diego, and, and I, I don't, you know, those big hotels are so expensive. I look for the little Airbnb, yeah. nothing fancy and beautiful like your guys' place. I just want a little hole in the wall to sleep, and I find them. So yeah. there's always a demand for any any Airbnb. So that's the cool thing, and, it, and it's everywhere, because people will so often say, well, my town, no one comes to my town, but people do for every reason that oh, yeah. they would stay in yeah. a hotel, they could potentially... I like your saying, it's not always about vacations, jobs, and you've yeah, got to be someplace for a couple kids days. Kids on a so. traveling volleyball tournament, yeah. I mean, you, know, you name it. And the cool thing is, when you shop on Expedia or Travelocity, and you know, you're scrolling through the options, now it turns that you start seeing the Airbnb options right there. Right. They're, they're interchangeable. Yep. Now, message to the viewers, if you want to invest or you're thinking of investing or you just want to ask questions, this is a resource, Matt and Quinn. Yeah, we, yeah. we are so passionate about, well, about all real estate, but this has been so much fun mm -hmm. for us. And it is a repeatable action that we, we created it and it works. We do it again. We right. do it again. We've and now we just get to help. We're like, okay, we're, we're going to shake on it. We're not buying another one this year, yeah, we're but trying. we can help everybody that we know and love. Yeah. Nice. And we've been working on um, a video course that should be live. In, oh. And in it's just an months. accumulation of everything we've learned. Some of it, the hard way, just right. so that, you know, if somebody's in Pittsburgh and they're trying to do this, that so much of this information yeah, is point. absolutely right. so They don't have to be in California to learn from you guys. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. The These are just, States. I yeah. mean, it's just general lessons that we've kind of learned. Um, but anybody around it. here, just call us and, and we'll talk for days. Oh, can I say one thing? Please. This is the most fun part because the biggest thing that we're trying to do is, you, if somebody's scrolling through their options, mm -hmm. we want them, how do we make it so that they will, you pick pick yours or pick ours and it's just right. like it's like a like a dating website right it, how do you like, how do you set it up how do you represent it yeah. out there and we need i like somebody that dating to website that, analogy yeah. That, yeah. They, we need them to pick that little thumbnail picture right. you know just like on a and what did you say like what's it <laughs> all guys and i mean not that i you know i've heard that guys on dating websites they're all holding fish they're giant they're <laughs> like holding this giant fish so you don't want the equivalent of yeah. a giant fish yeah. in your picture right. you want <laughs> yeah you I want them to it. actually you know, go, ooh, that one looks interesting, and then they click, and, you know, we're telling, and if you if you can see your thumb in the bottom corner of the picture, maybe yeah. you haven't, you know, used right. the really best invested your time to do that, yeah. So we've learned every little nook and cranny of how to make it profitable. Uh, in a minute before we go, I'm going to play a little video that you guys sent over, but before, I, we'll close with that, in fact. Okay. But anything else you want to add? I'm truly inspired by this, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. It's very thank inspiring. You. I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, do this. the short-term rental business is not going anywhere. Right. I mean, like like she was saying, it's already been adapted by Expedia, Travelocity. This is just a, a wonderful alternative to a, a normal hotel. And it's it's scary for a lot of people to do the first one, but yeah. like what But happened, take it back down to that $1 yeah. if it's making a yeah. dollar more. And I didn't really think about this, but somebody else has already set up the infrastructure for people to buy and put into yeah, Airbnb right. or It really is. You don't have to figure it out. And that's yeah. that's what we feel like we can do for people. And think about where you would like to vacation. We love to go to the coast. We love to go to Shaver Lake. So that's where two of ours are. Mm. So we're always looking at the calendar. It's like, oh, somebody canceled. Let's go. Yeah, yeah exactly. by the way, for you investors, that's the best point ever. They've got a Shaver Lake cabin all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is. So where and else do you have one? Uh, we have Shaver Lake. We have a few in Springville. We have one at the Central Coast. Central Coast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very cool. So yeah. we, we're just, we're believers. And I we're, love Springville, yeah. by the way. I'm not Yay. going there right now. I'm going to yep. get a couple of weeks. Get a boat. Let it, yeah, let it dry up a little. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, thank you for coming, and thank you for sharing this information for our viewers. Thank you, Mike. If you have questions, it's free to call, right? Yeah, yeah. it's free to call. and ask the questions, and, and they can help you pick a property if you do want to invest in something yeah. like that. And, yeah, pick and, it. Pick the property and go all the way through to the point where somebody's staying in there and is having a great time. Right. That's right. Um, if you're watching from home, don't go anywhere. Watch this video. We'll be back right We're after Airbnb that. Airbnb FS. <laughs> For life. <laughs> nice. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Quinn. And we're your new Airbnb FX.
what's going on in the house, if there are any rules, if you have to keep it down after 10 because the neighbor's already called you eight times. And it's laminated. <laughs> Don't just have a stupid paper welcome letter that people can spill coffee on. I mean, this is so fun. Figuring out this process of how to purchase them, set them up, and turn them into crazy money makers. Maybe you're somebody who's just thinking, I'm Maybe I'm ready to think about trying to buy my first Airbnb. Yeah, or maybe you already have 10 Airbnbs. But you're trying to figure out how do I take those and kick them up a notch and, and really maximize the potential. What does the customer want? Why is our Airbnb getting booked more than your Airbnb? And we're here to take you along the process every step of the way and help you. We're your new Airbnb FFs. For life.